welcome everybody. Thank you for joining us today at ITB. I don't know about you, but one of my constant problems on my Mac is running out of storage. Especially if you have a MacBook Air, one of the older machines that they have flash storage, but the quantity is pretty low in what you're going to get. You're going to 120 gigs maybe, and you probably see this little pop-up in the top corner of your machine all the time. And sometimes iCloud storage is just not going to be enough to offset that. So we're going to take a look at one of the best ways to upgrade that and using the Aura Upgrade Kit, the SSD Upgrade Kit from OWC Otherworld Computing. There are a couple things that are really, really nice about this. One, it is the complete package. So it tells you exactly, you just pick out which machine you have and it'll give you your upgrade options and you get the SSD inside the box as well as instructions on how to do everything and as a bonus, you actually get a little enclosure to put your older hard drive in. So you can put that hard drive into the enclosure, or that's not hard drive, but SSD, into the enclosure, comes with a little bag and a USB 3 cable to actually just plug this thing in and use it as a secondary drive. So you can take what was on the internal drive, put it into enclosure, and now you have an extra bonus external SSD drive, so it's going to be crazy fast as well. And it even includes the tools to do everything. So there are two different screwdrivers included in the box. They're probably more ones that you don't exactly have lying around, so they do include them for you, making it really easy just to go ahead with this upgrade. Alternatively, you can use one of the iFixit kits. That's what I always have lying around. I really, really like them, and they've even upgraded them since I had them. So if you wanted more, if you like doing this kind of stuff, definitely check out those kits. Now, we don't need to go through the entire install process. I'll let OWC handle the kind of into the tutorial and instruction part. They have all that included in the kits, but I just want to show you, I mean, basically how easy it is other than flashing and moving your data over. It's really as simple as unscrewing the bottom of your machine. On my MacBook Air here, you can see the drive located right here on top. Just another screw to remove that, swap it out, put the new one in go through the basic process of restoring the data back to your machine. It is not that complicated. I'm sure most people out there are capable of doing so. So just make sure you follow the instructions that came with it. It'll walk you through everything. This is definitely not meant to be a tutorial on how to actually do the installation. But once your installation is done, you can take the SSD from inside of your machine and put it into this really nice aluminum enclosure. It is a nice enclosure. It's basically a really awesome portable solid state hard drive. So it's going to be super fast when you're actually working with it, whether you want to store photos on here, movies, anything else. Super small, easy to carry on the go, and it comes with a little bag, so it's not going to get damaged or damage your other stuff. The enclosure is really easy to put together. There's just a couple different screws and then a little feet that go on the bottom so it's not going to slide around all too much. I do wish, as I will always say, I wish it was USB-C. But these ones here for MacBook Air, these have come out a number of years ago before USB-C was a thing. And to be honest, if you're using a MacBook Air, you don't have USB-C. So it's not going to really be a problem unless you get to the newer machines and you're swapping those out. Apple makes upgrading your hard drive unnecessarily difficult. I mean, if you do it when you buy the machine, it adds a bunch of money and you don't get to keep the old disk that was in there. Here, you can get rid of that pesky little disk storage full notification that you see all the time. And now you'll have a larger internal drive. And when you plug this, you can see the SSD, the Envoy Pro Media right there. This is an extra 120 gigs on this external drive that I have as a solid state drive. That, that's extra money right there if I want to buy a solid state external drive by itself. You may have seen these drives in previous videos because I've actually done this twice now. On two of my previous machines, both my Mac Mini as well as my MacBook Air, I have done these upgrades on, and I am so happy they did. They've given them extra performance boost, more storage, and awesome portable drive to take with me, all in that one simple easy to do kit. So if you wanna pick this up, absolutely go for it. There's a link below in the description. You can find your way there. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Until next time, this is Andrew, for IDB.